In this segment, we'll walk you through the live view icons and controls and familiarize you with the menu's layout. Live view is the default display mode for your DVR. Each camera connected will be displayed on screen. Right click the mouse to display the menu bar. Double click a camera to view it in full screen. Click and drag a channel to reposition it. Choose the menu button to reveal additional functions, including search to access the search menu and play previously recorded videos, setup to access the main menu, lock screen to lock your DVR and prevent access, and shutdown used to shut down, reboot, or log out. Select four camera view to see four cameras on screen. Alternatively, Select the grid to see up to four cameras on screen for a four channel DVR, up to eight cameras for an eight channel DVR on screen, or up to 16 to see up to 16 cameras on screen if you have a 16 channel DVR. Select more layouts to select one or more multi view modes. Select Auto Seek to repeatedly cycle each channel for five seconds. Select Search to view recorded videos. Click on the small arrow to play events in the last five minutes. Select audio to adjust the volume. Click the speaker icon to mute audio. Your internet connectivity is indicated here. Select manual to bypass the current recording schedule. Select startup wizard to enter the wizard. Left click a camera to access the camera toolbar. Select manual record to start a manual recording. Click Manual Capture to take a snapshot. Click Instant Playback to playback the last recording. Click PTZ to control a PTZ camera. Click Zoom to enter Zoom mode, then move the mouse over the detail you want to enlarge and use the mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in. Click and hold the rectangle to drag it to a new area. Right-click to exit. Click Color Settings to adjust the image settings. Click Light to enable the camera's siren and spotlight if supported. Click Add Customized Tag when recording to add a tag. Tagging lets you record information with the video. The camera icon indicates a current recording in progress. The Running Man icon indicates motion detection. The PIR icon indicates detection of one or more warm objects. The green S icon indicates an analytic event that is not being recorded. The HD icon indicates mainstream recording at the indicated resolution. The red S icon indicates an analytic event with activity being recorded. The video loss icon indicates the channel doesn't see a connected camera. Right click anywhere on the screen, then select the menu icon, and then select setup to open the main menu. The main categories are shown on the left. Selecting a category will reveal subcategories, allowing you to alter the settings. Make sure to apply your changes to save them. To exit, right-click on the mouse. The Display tab allows you to change camera names, adjust image settings, create a privacy mask, and enable Covert Mode. The Record tab allows you to select the Stream Mode. Set Record Enable. Disable or enable Pre-Record. Set the Recording Schedule. And change Resolution, Frame Rate, and Control Bit Rates. The Alarm tab allows you to Alter Motion Detection Parameters. Control the Siren. Control the warning lights. Define a motion detection area. Set a schedule for the enforcer sensor lights. The Analytics tab allows you to define specific areas to monitor. Monitor static objects. The System Configuration tab gives you control of some of the most basic functions of the DVR, such as device name, language, and video format.
date and time, and general device information. For more information on the various options available, log on to support.swan.com and search Smart Security System Manual.